Hey guys, this is Kevin, and for today's Expat Philippines video, I wanted to talk for a few minutes about uh, dealing with beggars and street children and um, that kind of thing, because if you move to the Philippines, you're going to encounter that. There are thousands of people who are poor or in either live on the street or live in uh, substandard housing and slums and that kind of thing. And being a foreigner, being someone who sticks out of the crowd a bit, uh, people are going to assume that you are rich, as I've mentioned before, and for that reason, you will get approached frequently by beggars and people like that asking for money. Now, how do you approach that? I mean, I, I know people who kind of take extremes. I know some people who will basically say, I'll never give money to anyone in that scenario. And I know of others who will always give money in that scenario. And uh, for me, it's a bit of a dilemma because on one hand, as a Christian, you know, I take uh, chapter Matthew chapter 25 seriously and other, uh, other Bible passages like that that talk about uh, taking care of the poor or as Jesus called them, the least of these. So uh, for that reason, you know, I do always have a heart to give to people. The flip side to that is you, you do, I believe, have to look at the big picture and decide if what you're doing is genuinely helping someone or are you inadvertently making the problem worse. And uh, so I'll, I'll share with you a few of the issues that I dealt with or thought about in terms of the poor and, and how to help the poor. Uh, one thing that I always tried to be thinking about was by giving money, are you supporting behavior or supporting something unintentionally that you should not be supporting? So, uh, for example, it was not unusual, especially in Manila, for uh, children to be working in for some type of uh, begging syndicate. In other words, you had some kind of a a caretaker, I guess you could call it, a guy or girl who was basically had kidnapped these children or, or kept all these children. And when that child uh, got some money through begging, none of it would go to the child. It would go to the person who's taking care of them. If ever you've seen the movie uh, Slumdog Millionaire, it's something kind of like that, and that did happen. Now, of course, it's really almost impossible to know if somebody's working for a syndicate, but it's just something that I, I kept in mind. Uh, another thing that I always tried to consider was by giving money, would I be supporting a behavior that, that I didn't think is a good thing or that even put someone's life in danger? So, uh, for example, there are times, especially in Manila, where children would come up to a car and tap on the window. In those cases, I rarely gave money just because I didn't like the idea of kids being out you know, on the street like that, walking up to cars. And I felt like, this is just my conviction, okay, I'm not saying that you have to look at it this way. I felt like when you give to a kid who's coming up to a car, you're encouraging them to keep doing that and kind of putting their lives in danger. Or uh, another thing that, that kids would do sometimes, they would hop up into a ba the back of a jeepney and actually start wiping people's shoes and then ask for money or, or uh, they would uh, pass out envelopes for people to put money in or something like that. Again, for me, I just didn't like kids doing that and I thought that that was by giving money in that situation, it would kind of be supporting the behavior. So in, in those instances, I rarely or never gave money. Uh, another time that I would not give money is when I felt uh, somebody was being really, I guess you could call it aggressive. Just uh, two or three people coming up on me and getting really getting in my space and repeating, give me money, give me money. There was just something about that that put me at, uh, made me uneasy. It sometimes even made me feel like maybe they were uh, trying to, uh, you know, trying to get me to get my wallet out and take my stuff or something. I just was always had to be aware of stuff like that. So times when people were overly aggressive, again, I didn't want to uh, reward that behavior. 
and I hate using the word reward or sounding like sounding like uh, you know I don't have any grace or heart for anyone but it's just something that I would consider sometimes so uh, those are some of the things that came to mind another thing is one thing I can tell you is I ran into situations where I really wasn't sure if somebody really needed help or if it's something they were just kind of doing for the heck of it and you say well why would you why would you think that way Kevin I'll give you an example uh, one time I remember in Angeles City there were some kids who had I, I was walking by a bake shop and this other expat had bought a few things for these kids I don't know if it was cookies or what it was but I mean he had just bought some things for them and then right as I walked by they turn around to me and ask me for something and I even said something to them I said uh, said it in Tagalog that you, you he's just given you something and now you're turning right around and asking me for something I don't know for me in that situation I usually wouldn't wouldn't give somebody give to somebody if I felt like they were just kind of playing around and uh, maybe didn't really need it or something like that so those are just some of the things that I thought about now, on the other hand does that mean that I never gave to anyone uh, absolutely not as I mentioned earlier I do believe in uh, being giving and being compassionate so I did give uh, particularly if I saw older people begging just for some reason I always figured an older person begging probably have they have probably completely run out of options so I would always give coins or whatever to them if I would see them not always but but some of the time and yes there were times when I saw children if they were begging and they weren't being rude to me or aggressive towards me then then I would give so that's and I wish I could tell you a, a, a system or a reason that I always had for it. And to me, it was just kind of a case-by-case case thing. Uh, another thing I can mention is when I lived in Manila, the places I lived in Manila were apartments where no one had really access to uh, come to the house, come to my place of living and ask for something. But when we lived in Angeles City, uh, my wife and I lived in a in a subdivision, and the you know, people could not come up to our door because there was a gate outside. I've talked about that with the video I did on uh, security or renting. Uh, on uh, if you look at my video on renting, you'll see that I talk about it's important to have gates and that kind of thing. But anyway, even though people could not come up to our door, they could come up to the gate and kind of knock on the gate a little bit and, and ask for things and generally speaking if someone came up to our gate uh, asking for money we would give it to them if they or, or, or sometimes what we would do is if they came up and they asked for something I would go to my refrigerator and see if we had some bread or just something for them to eat or fruit just whatever and we would give to them now the the danger with doing that or even doing this on the street is you do wonder okay if the, if I give to the children or if I give to somebody coming up to the door am I going to suddenly have the reputation of well just go to him because he gives and is it going to grow and grow into something that I cannot financially support anymore in other words in Angeles if I give does that mean that people are going to start coming to my house two or three times a day that is a a risk it's a possibility uh, fortunately that never happened to us when people came by the gate and we gave it didn't seem to increase that that uh, behavior it didn't seem like it happened more often so um, you know I kinda of feel like I'm rambling a little bit this morning but those are just some of the things that that I tried to consider uh, I did give I did try to help because I think uh, all of us you know have that heart to help people or most people do most of us have that at the same time I did try to be wise and a bit discerning in the way I gave so um, 
that that's how I always dealt with the issue of beggars and street children. It was kind of a case by case thing and I would give as long as I didn't think that I was somehow maybe supporting a behavior or supporting something uh, accidentally that I didn't want to support as far as the uh, big picture goes. So anyway, I, I hope this uh, helps you. It is something you're going to have to deal with if you move to the Philippines. Uh, one quick thing that I should add here. Uh, there are plenty of opportunities you will find to get involved with charity organizations that do some of this uh, due diligence for you and and they do all the investigation for you and they will be the ones who determine how the money is used or how your service is used and uh, that's something that I would also encourage you to get involved with some type of charity or some type of organization that helps people uh, just as an example when the, the flood came through uh, Undoy a few years ago uh, I went and volunteered for a few hours at uh, uh, World World Vision, I think it's called, Philippines, and helped them move some goods around. And also the uh, the denomination that I worked with, the Southern Baptists, we also were, were, were doing some things to get food and supplies to people who needed it. So there are opportunities, plenty of them, to get involved with a charity and that's something that I would really in, uh, encourage you to do if you move to the Philippines. Even if you're not a religious person, uh, think about getting involved in some way that you can help other people that's a little more systematic or, or has a little bit bigger, in picture, bigger picture in mind than just what you could do by giving you know, a few coins to somebody. So anyway, uh, hopefully this video has helped you. If you have a question or comment, feel free to leave it below.